uh, welcome back to our cooking vlog. Uh, I'm going to make something, something really cheap and cheerful for tonight's tea. I'm making a macaroni cheese, but it's going to have cauliflower in it and a nice crispy topping uh, with the um, parmesan on top as well. So, let's get cracking. First of all, I'll show you what we'll need, actually. So, you're going to need some plain flour, grated mature cheese, macaroni pasta, some plain crisps, uh, milk, grated parmesan, some butter, an onion, a couple of garlic cloves, a cauliflower, that's a whopper isn't it, that's a beautiful one is that. You might not want one quite as big as that because there's, uh, well there's quite a lot of us isn't there. So that is what we need. So first thing to do is get the pasta on to cook. So I'll just get that on, I've got my, my pan over here already boiling away. So I'll get that on. Not sure if everyone's here for tea tonight, so I don't want to make too much, but yeah, they love this, so they'll be eating it for the supper and everything later on. Right. Next job, to make the cheese sauce. Dead simple. The only thing that can go wrong with it is it'll go lumpy. So, got my pan. Chunk of butter. You can use margarine if you want, but I just think butter gives it a bit more flavour. We'll uh, wrap more than margarine does. Right, so we just need to melt the butter and then we're going to add some plain flour to it. Okay, so there's the butter that's melted, and we just need to start adding the plain flour. Just keep stirring it. And turn the heat down a little bit. Just you're just making a really thick paste, basic, basically, which at this at this stage is called a roux. For anyone that wants to know. Okay, that's that. Now, I'm going to start adding the milk. Just a little bit at a time to start with. If you, if you try and put it all in at once now, you're gonna just, it's gonna end up in a big, lumpy, horrible mess. It'll be disgusting. You'll find that as you're going along, you can start to add a bit more milk at a time because the mixture will take it without it going all lumpy and horrible. See, it's starting to get a bit looser now, isn't it? You can add a bit more milk at a time now. Without the much, so much of the worry, is it going lumpy? The best way, to, when you get to this stage, because you want to keep stirring it, you don't want it to stick to the bottom or anything. The best way to stir it is in a figure of eight. Like that. And then, just keep doing it. 
and you'll get the hang of it and you'll be able to go faster. Okay, a bit more. That's it, that's it done. So all we've got to do now, you need to cook this for about 20 minutes just to cook the, the rawness of the flour out. Uh, whilst it's doing that, Knife. I'm going to put in, whilst that's just going to cook away gently, I've got a quarter of an onion there, and I'm also going to put in two garlic bulbs, just add some flavour to the sauce. So that now, we just leave that to simmer away. Keep stirring it now and again, just so it doesn't all go, you know, stick to the bottom and go lumpy. And that's it. Well, that's just cheese sauce nearly done. We've still got to obviously add the cheese, yeah? Right, my um, macaroni is ready, so I shall turn that off and drain that. <coughs> I'm going to keep the water from it though, because I'm the uh, cauliflower, so I'll tip it from one pan. So that's my macaroni draining. And I'll use this water to put my cauliflower in. So with the cauliflower, uh, Chop it in half. You just basically want little bits. You can, well, you can do it however you like, really, can't you? Just, I'm going to go for. Doesn't have to be anything perfect. Just chop it up. Just chunks like that. That's why I'm going to do mine. You could swap the, um, the cauliflower for broccoli, you could put peas in it, um, or you could do you know, a mixture of veg. Uh, it is actually quite nice with veg and some like gammon bits or uh, bacon bits fried off and then put through it. That's really nice, we've done that before. But you know, we're trying to do our vegetarian meal once a week, so we're just going for this one. So I'll just put that in the water now to cook. So I'm just going to fish out the onion and that goes in the bin. Well, it's just to add flavour, it's the onion and the garlic. Ah, uh, then there's the garlic at Tilly. There's one. Right, so that's it, that's the, uh, the sauce nearly done. That's the onions and everything to take now. We just need to add the cheese, so. Yeah, of course you can, your hands clean. That's it. So I've got somebody now coming to help me. Tilly is going to put the cheese in. And you can add as much as you like, cheese-wise, you know, you make it as strong a taste, you know, or as, as mild as you like. It's macaroni cheese. It's macaroni cheese, so it needs to taste of cheese, doesn't it, Tilly? Mm -hmm. Okay, off you go, sweet. In your reach. Mm. 
Right, one more, and let's let that melt, and then we'll taste it. So my little helper is going to tell me if it's cheesy enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, blow on it, might be hot. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Tastes of garlic and cheese. Bit more cheese? Yeah, it tastes Bit more cheese. Time. So the onion and the garlic have definitely added a nice flavour to it. It's not over garlic, it's not like garlic bread or anything like that, is it? Do you want to put some more in? Yeah. What? That'll do. That'll do. So that is such a simple sauce to make. Flour and butter, milk, your cheese, onion and garlic are optional if you like, but they, it's worth putting them in because they do add a lot more flavour to it. Anyway, right, so that's just about melted. My cauliflower is ready, so I will now put the pasta in my baking dish that I'm going to use. Drain my cauliflower. Pack them away. Okay, okay, right. Cheese sauce. Do you want to try it again before we. Yeah. Are you happy with that? No. You're happy? Yeah. Right. She's happy. Turn that off. Right. Well, well. You like a what, Denny? I like a mouse, I can't live without cheese. You, like, you love your cheese, don't you, Tilly? Yeah. So, there we go. Mm. Mm. I'll just mix up the cauliflower mm. and the macaroni. Mm. Yeah. And then the sauce mm. all over. If you don't have a massive family like ours, which I doubt very much you have, you could mix this in the pan and then add it to your dish. But what we say in this house, it's a big family problem. It won't mix up in the pan, so we do it in the dish. Right. Beautiful. Oh, it smells so good. It really does smell nice. Next job. You can do this as well, Timmy. Gonna crush. Yeah, I'll open them. And you, you crush them up. Okay. I've got a couple of packets of plain crisps. Which I'll just crush up. <laughs> Tellies are coming out the bag. Not to worry. And then they get sprinkled over the top. That one done. Uh -huh. Let's see if it's enough. Well, I'll do another packet. The last three. They just give it a nice crunchy top, this, don't they? Got it? Thank you. Thank you, my favourite assistant. Right. A bit, I've got a bit of spare cheese. So that'll go all over as well. Then I've got some. Well, it's supposed to be parmesan, but I think to be honest, it's a it's a substitute. But it tastes just as good, so that can go all over as well. This is technically a cheese. It's a cheese cheese, cheese. explosion. This one, isn't it? Yeah. Imagine making a cheese volcano, <laughs> and it will and it erupts with all cheese. Right, that is it. Just work around the edges. When it goes in the oven, it doesn't just all burn. So there you go, folks. That is what a macaroni cheese with a nice crispy topping with added cauliflower looks like. So that now, I'm just going to put that underneath the grill in the oven, make it nice and golden brown and crispy on top. And then it's time to serve up. 
So let's get it in. So whilst that's in the oven going nice and gold brown, I will quickly tidy up. Right, I've got about five minutes if that. Did it. It's done, it's had seven minutes exactly. I shall show you, it is beautiful. Can you see it? Look at that beauty. I'll show you a better angle. You can't see it, you need to see it better than that. Look at that. Right, should we get them everybody in? You ready for your tea, Archie? He's ready. Right, so that is it. I'm just going to now dish it up for the kids. Pity we haven't got... Oops. Pity we haven't got smelly vision because it smells an absolute treat. I'll get a clean spoon for everybody else. It's fine, we'll carry on. <laughs> so that's it folks, um, all the kids are just arriving. I promise you I'm getting a clean spoon. I'm not going to use the one that I just dropped on the floor. Uh, it's in the sink. So that's it, let me know how you get on. Uh, and if you enjoyed it, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.